Hi everybody, how are you? It's your girl Kenya and welcome to my channel, Confessions of a Shopaholic. Today I'm coming to you all with, what else? A haul video. <laughs> yes, like no surprise, 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 a haul video. But this isn't any ordinary haul video. This is my Mother's Day haul video. So I'm really excited to show you what my baby got me, meaning my daughter, got me for Mother's Day. I thought it was so cute. And also, I'm going to incorporate my Mother's Day shopping spree haul with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing what your girl got... Don't go anywhere. All right, everybody. So first, I would like to say happy late Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Then I want to show you guys what my daughter made me. And it was so cute. She, first of all, she made a little, like, I guess it's a little flower pot. And it says flowers and then pot. And then there was, like, little tissue paper sticking out to, like, emulate grass. And then inside, there was this cute little necklace that I did wear yesterday. Then there was a card, and it says, Dear Mom, mm, I might cry. Dear Mom, you are my inspiration. My love for you will bloom forever. My favorite thing about you is that you make me so, so happy each day. <laughs> My favorite time with you is girls' night out. It's time for us to rock. <laughs> How cute is that? Thanks for being my mother and loving me to death. Your co you color my world. Love, Josiah. Oh, that's so cute. And it says, I love you so, so much. So, so cute. Then there was a spoon. Well, I kind of took it apart. It was inside this tissue paper, and it was wrapped like this, and this note was around it, and it says, Dear Mom, a spoonful of love and a couple of wishes. Hope you enjoy your Mother's Day kisses. And then when you open it up, it was a spoon like that you cook with, and then there were Hershey kisses inside. So it was a spoonful of kisses. Oh. <laughs> that was so precious so precious and then what I'm most excited about which I haven't used yet I have coupons I have Mother's Day coupons it says this coupon is good for having a happy day with kisses with love mom Josiah <laughs> The, sec the second coupon was, this coupon is good for a rub, rub neck, I guess you're saying neck rub. <laughs> and the third coupon is good for, this coupon is good for need a bag or help. Oh, because I'm always carrying my bags in from school. So she's always running out to the car to help me carry my bags in. So she says, need a bag or help. Oh, how cute is that? That was just so cute. And it all came in this little handmade flower pot. And I'm going to put this somewhere so it doesn't get messed up. Y'all know I have boxes and boxes of projects, arts and crafts, and all that kind of stuff from my kids that they make. They, they're just so precious. I don't want to get rid of them. So that was my Mother's Day gift from my little baby girl. Um... Yeah, so let's just keep it moving, because you know there is more. Okay, so from my husband, I got my favorite, favorite pink roses. But these weren't like, I, I wish I could bring it in here, but it's so such a big arrangement. He had flowers delivered. My favorite color rose is pink. I love the hot pink roses and the baby pink roses. And this time I got baby pink but they were like a baby pink with peach mixed inside of them in this really pretty floral arrangement so so super cute but you know your girl had to do some shopping in between yes everything is in my little little goodie bag thing here so let's just go on through this bag and see what I found all right so 
first I purchased another one of these um, clear transparent makeup bags. I need these. I like to see what's um, what's in my, my makeup bag. Because sometimes, like, just like those clear containers, if you don't see it, you don't really think about it. But anyway, so the first thing I want to start off with is this cargo set. This set is called the Mediterranean Collection, and it comes with everything you see listed here. And I'm going to try to make this haul faster than my usual hauls, but that's probably not going to be possible. So first it comes with this cute little, like, I know it's not leather because it stinks. It smells like plastic. <laughs> so this cute little pleather makeup bag. And then inside... Anywho, okay, so in this comes a little lip glass, lip gloss, a mini lip gloss. I'm not really too big on the color at all. It's okay. Nothing fancy. Chicken. Chicken. Then, what did I eat? Diana Ross. I'll take that. I'll look like Diana Ross. I don't care. Then these two eyeshadows. You swatch them really quick for you. Those are cute. But this isn't what really made me want this palette. Then it comes with the waterproof mascara and one of the <laughs> one of the infamous swimmables. But what really caught my eye was this blush here. This is what really, really, really caught my eye. I was like, I have to have that very, very pretty. And the name of this is Men. Mendocino? Mendo Mendocino? I don't know, but this is what actually made me want this entire set. And when I went to go look at the rest of the cargo blushes, this color was not inside that set. So, I was really excited about this set. But only for that, <laughs> that particular blush. This bag really stinks. Like, it smells like a combination of plastic and mothballs. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is terrible. I'm trying to see if the products smell like that. This stinks really, really bad. It's, it smells so bad that it's giving me a headache. Oh gosh. That is absolutely horrid. Mmm. It makes me almost not even want the set because the 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 bag smells so bad. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever smelled anything that smells so bad in all of my life. So do I recommend purchasing that set? Probably not. I like that blush, but oh my gosh. Anyway, let's keep it moving to what's inside this bag. Okay, so... Um, there's a couple of stores in this bag. There's Macy's and there's Sephora. So, went to Macy's and I just purchased two more of the Chanel um, Aqua Lip Liners. I love these things, y'all. These Not only are they waterproof, but they do not budge. They don't smudge. And if you line your lips and fill them in, it makes your lipstick last a heck of a lot longer. So, um, these are $26 a piece and I just got two more in different colors. Then, my girl Tonique raves about her Bobbi Brown Cream Concealer. I don't even know if this is the right one that she got, but I saw it and I was like, hmm, let me give that a try. It comes in, well, it doesn't come in because you have to buy them separately, but it's like a, a step, steps. The first step is a moisturizing eye cream, which I already have some of. See, here we go with the freaking train. Okay, so like I was saying, it comes in steps. Moisturize or hydrate, which I already have eye cream. Then corrector. So I purchased one of Bobbi Brown's color correctors in deep bisque. 
and this is actually to neutralize the tones that are the undertones that are um, causing my dark circles so this is the shade that I purchased the deep bisque and then the third process is to actually conceal so once you neutralize now you want to go in and you want to even everything out because your neutralizer or your co your corrector is going to look um pale and pasty so in order to even that out and correct that now you want to conceal and i just got this concealer in almond but it not only comes with the concealer but it also comes with a translucent setting powder which i think is so cool it also comes with the mirror. So the concealer, well, the corrector was 22 and the concealer was 32. I'm excited to try it because, like I said, Tonique always raves about it. I really love them. Really love those two products. Then, you know, as a courtesy, <laughs> the girl from Chanel gave me a little sample of the Rouge Coco lipstick. I'm like, girl, I got so many of those, but... I'm never one to be like, oh, I work for, or I, I just accept it. Like, thank you very much and keep it moving. So anyway, <laughs> the next store that I'm going to share with you is Inglot. I just purchased two things from Inglot. It could have been three, but they didn't have one of the items that I was looking for. I got two of their um, full metal lip liners, which I'm really excited about. If I could just get this out and show it to you. I should have been more prepared and just had everything out of the packaging already, but whatever. So this is what they look like. And this is actually metal, full metal. One side is a lip liner. And this color is just like a, um, kind of like current from MAC. So it's like a raspberry color. And then this side is a brush so you can blend it. And it also comes with... I can get it out a little sharpener but I'm a little confused about the sharpener because if it's retractable why do you need a sharpener I don't know I haven't figured that part out yet but when I figure it out I'll let you know or maybe somebody can let me know I don't know everything and I don't profess to know everything so oh my gosh my dog is bugging this is why I don't open my doors or open my windows because you can hear all the outside elements. So anyway, oh, I'm steady talking, closing this. Let me keep it moving. So anyway, that one is in um, number 857. That's the only thing that I don't like about Ingla. I don't like the fact that they don't have colors. I guess they said, you know what? Forget trying to figure out names to these things. We'll just give them numbers and keep it moving. It could be a batch number. It could be anything. But I just think they should have taken a little bit more time and probably named them because... A name you will remember. A number you might not always remember. And this one I purchased in uh, 860. And this one is like, let me see. Yeah, these things go up and down. So I'm trying to figure out why you would need a sharpener. I guess to maybe sharpen back the, the, the tip of them. I guess to make them pointy. I don't really know. But this one is like a, a really hot pink. I, this one was hot. I was really feeling this one. I should swatch it real quick, right? Hot pink. I am loving it. Loving it. Really quick, let me go back to the Chanel um, aqua liners, aqua lip liners. The one thing I don't like about these is that they are not retractable, meaning they go up but they don't come back down. So if you happen to wind up too much of that lip liner, you're pretty much screwed. So that's the one thing that I don't like about that um, lip liner, which I don't understand. Chanel is so big on paying attention to detail and luxury packaging and blah, blah, blah. So why would you make a retractable lip liner that didn't actually retract? That's what I don't understand. And then you have $12.00 and $26. Full metal retractable. I don't know if it's full metal, but not retractable. So something ain't really right there. But nevertheless, it's a good lip liner. So, you know, whatever. But anyway, oh my gosh, I really just got dazed for a second trying to get that lip liner, that daggone <laughs> 
sharpener back in the box. Wasted two minutes because you know what's more in this bag. So anyway, let me just keep it moving. Okay, so next everything else comes from Sephora. Um, most of these so far um, is NARS. It's going to be NARS, so whatever. It's going to be NARS. I'm just like all over the place today, y'all. Anyway, okay, so this is the first product I'm going to show you, and I'm really excited about it. This was a blush bronzer trio. First of all, the packaging is so super cute. It comes in like a mesh um, case, and it zips around the sides. I saw that they sell these online. I haven't seen them too much in the stores until um, yesterday. So inside, we have Orgasm, Laguna, and what's the one in the middle? Albatross. Y'all, this Albatross is something crazy. That's, that's just crazy right there. That color is crazy. I like Laguna too. It's very, very sheer and transparent. I think this will be really, really pretty in the summertime as a translucent powder or as a... Um, it's, it's not... To me, it's not as much of a bronzer as it is a, a translucent powder. Because on me, it doesn't really look... Um, like shimmery like the I'm sure everybody has seen orgasm but I'll swatch it anyway um, it doesn't really look as shimmery as Laguna and I mean as um, albatross and orgasm so I will probably wear this just as a light dusting of face powder um, in the summertime but this was really really pretty I, I was also taken in by the packaging and this um, was $55 love that packaging Next, I purchased, I, ha I had my eye on this, um, this duo for quite some time now. And every time I would go to my, Sephora, I mean, my Sephora or NARS counter, this would always seem to be sold out. So I was really excited to get my hands on it. This is called Yoridice, Yoridice. And, ugh, these are the colors in this duo. This is like a slate gray, and this is like a purple. Love those two colors. Love them, love them, love them. Like I said, I had been eyeing this duo for quite some time, and I was really excited. I found everything that was in the New York Sephora are things that I've been looking for at home and could not find. I actually just saw this in my Sephora today, and I was like, okay, they're just now... Really quick, guys, Sephora now has the Naked Palette. So if anybody is looking for the Naked Palette, go to your Sephora now, ASAP. My Sephora today had a whole wall full of them, and I was like, oh, my gosh. She was like, we just got these on Friday. I said, well, when people find out, they won't sit on the shelf for very long. So if anybody is interested in that Naked Palette, go check your Sephora out now. Okay, keep it moving. The next NARS product I got is a blush, and this is in Exhibit A. It's a really pretty orange. I think this will look really pretty when I wear my red lipsticks. I don't have any blush like this, and I also think this will look good layered with Taj Mahal. So I'm really excited about that. I'm just going to kind of speedball through this because now I'm going on 20 minutes. This... I have been searching for forever this eyeshadow and I can never find it in my Sephora's and I'm so excited to have it. Tropics, look at that y'all. Y'all know this, this green has been like my color this year, but it's not only green, it's a matte teal with silver glitter flecks. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. I can't wait to hop up on this color. I can't wait to come up with some looks. The next color I got is Coconut Grove. And this is just a really pretty um, matte brown, which is what I needed. I needed a really pretty dark, dark brown. Really, really pretty. Night Flight. This is actually black with blue like blue it's like a blue black but it's it looks blue but it's not it's black with like blue shimmers or blue in it 
love it love it really really super excited i'm so excited about all my little mother's day purchases then i got two lip products and then that'll be it for the nars I'm so excited about this too, y'all. I just had a really, you ever have those really good shopping trips where every single thing you got, you're like, I love everything I got. Like no buyer's remorse, no nothing. That's how this shopping trip was. Okay, so I got another one of NARS's um, matte lipsticks, but this is like a serious, serious, serious hot pink. When I say serious, I mean serious. And this is going to look so good with that um, Inglot lip liner up there. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. And then I got another red lip liner. I just wanted to give um, another lip liner a try. I was using the red, um, the Chanel um, Rouge that underneath my dragon but i wanted to see um try another brand of lip liner and this one really caught my eye i was like that is so pretty this almost looks this looks like probably like an orange based red but i want to see how this is going to look paired with that um that dragon so yeah that's it for the NARS. I got, I just got another lip treatment by Sugar. I had the original one, but it smelled like lemons and it was bugging me out. Like I can't take the way that smells. So I just got this one in Fresh Plum. Ooh, it smells so much better. That other one, that lemons was just like, I can't take the smell of lemons on my lips all freaking day. It was killing me. Then when I get to the register and I'm checking out, I see this. How cute is that? A pocket all-nighter. Y'all, I carry that big bottle of all-nighter with me almost everywhere I go in my makeup bag. Now I can just throw this in my makeup bag and keep it moving. I can throw this in my purse if I do a... Sorry, y'all. I kind of got interrupted there. But anyway, um, like I was saying, if I just want to throw this in my makeup bag and spray it real quick when I'm doing one of my little quick touch-up jobs... Oh my gosh, I was like, that is so convenient. This was $11. Yeah, kind of pricey for a little tiny bottle like this. But if y'all know what this was and how it worked, you would not think that that was, oh, excuse me, overly priced for that. Then I just got two more Urban Decay products. I got two more 24-7 Glide On Shadow Pencils. Um, I got the last two that I did not have. Um... I got Mercury, which is just a slate silver, and I got Barracuda, which is like a glittery, glittery black. I had Urban Cow Urban Cowboy or Mystic Cowboy, one of those in my hands, but for some reason I think I already have it. And then Barracuda is just like a slate, a slate black color, like a glittery, glittery black. But then again, now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't doesn't look like it makes sense to have both of them I don't know maybe but nevertheless I got two more 24 hour glide I love these things especially underneath your eyeshadows y'all listen those are the best products to use as bases and I don't mean primers because you still want to use a primer but as a base underneath your eyeshadow go get the 24 hour glide eyeshadow pencils from urban decay at least get either sin or lit those two in your makeup bag underneath all of your eyeshadows because they're very neutral and nude so you can put a neutral and nude underneath any color whether it be red purple blue green orange and your color will pop but i use the purple one of these for my purple eyeshadow a green one for my green eyeshadow and so on and so forth and yeah i know i'm talking a lot in my video again it's very very long but you know what that's why i'm here you know at least part of why i'm here i'm here for everything beauty advice craziness hair everything but anyway thank you guys for hanging in there with me as usual i'm gonna go deuces bye